following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Let's Applaud Entertainment presents Women's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 89, The Origins of the Ultimate Powerpuff. Shotaro is just in my script for chapter 18 of Humans and Sentai Go Ranger back to me, along with his illustrations. The battle with Cyclops Mask has already been finished. Now it just needs to be published. I tell you, it's gotta be... Come in! Mata-chan! Oh, hi, Miyako! Oh, Momoko and Kaoru came too, that's nice. Anyway, we need to talk to you about something. Sure, go ahead. We've sent some Powerpuff Life traits from your dad whenever he and his family came to visit. Wait, what? Yep, your dad's a Powerpuff as well. Oh my god! I got my powers from him and I didn't even know about them until I first came here to Animation Land! Do you even remember that day? Do I remember it? Man, that day changed my life forever! Well, it's about time we know the whole story! Go ahead! It started out like an ordinary day. I had recently turned 19 and my life went about as usual. At 3 p.m. though, everything changed. At that moment, Gold Mask of the Black Cross Army's Black Crusaders appeared and tried to kill me and my entire family. All because I was completely against censoring animation. Oh my god! I escaped just in time for my house to blow up. All at once, I found myself in a vast, unfriendly world. I then walked hundreds of miles searching for a place to live. I guess it's when you found the portal and ended up coming here. Gordon and Susan found me and took me to their apartment to tend to my wounds. That's when I came to and met them. Gordon then introduced me to Bob and Mr. Hoover. Just then, Gordon and I hid somewhere in the kitchen of the snack shop gone due to Gold Mask finding the portal. That's when I saw the Glow Rangers in person. Suddenly, Gold Mask found out that I survived and was about to kill me when my power started to show. I helped the Glow Rangers annihilate Gold Mask and avenge my family. Ever since then, I had devoted myself to protecting Animation Land and annihilating the Black Cross Army. Well, on the bright side, had the incident never happened, you wouldn't have met us, and you and Miyako are star-crossed lovers now. Anyway, your dad knew all the technical and hidden techniques. Wow, all 50 technical techniques? And all 5 hidden techniques? Yes, he's got strength in your place as a possible candidate for the ultimate power buff. Your dad was only 19 when he started showing his powers, and he's been using those powers in the army ever since. <laughs> Ironically, I was 19 when I started showing my powers, so it must run in the family. Well, you're like, what, 19 and a half now? You're maturing a lot since August. We've all gotten stronger from fighting the Black Cross Army. Yeah, but look at you! You know over a hundred techniques now! Many of them you learned at the same time you earned a transformation badge! By the way, have you earned all your transformation badges? Yeah, that was shortly before you came into our lives! My master form resembles a giant butterfly! Mine resembles a giant swan! And mine is a dragon! Okay then. Wow, I can't believe I'm almost there. What? Oh, to fulfill the ultimate power of prophecy! If I remember correctly, all he has left to learn are all the Ice-type, Fighting-type, Ghost-type, and Dragon-type techniques! Sounds about right! And I can hardly wait to learn them! Well, now that you know the full story of my discovery of Animation Land, I think it's time to go. Thanks for helping us get this far in our mission. We still have a ways to go, but with your help, I'm sure we'll get there. Come back soon, okay? Alright, see you later! This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2018.
This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network. <laughs> 